Well, hello there, St. Luke's. Uh, good to be back with you all for this midweek message. I'm sitting here on Thursday morning. Um, this is September 12th. And um, just uh, sort of bracing, uh, I don't know if bracing is the right word, but, um, but, but, but enjoying the last bit of calm uh, before we crank all of our midweek offerings back up next week. You'll hear more about that in a minute. But I wanted to, uh, first of all, uh, say thank you. Thank you to all those who came out for our ministry fair this past Sunday. It was glorious. It was, uh, in particular, I want to thank uh, Jessica Maples, our parish um, executive administrator. She really had a, um, it really took that, the, the idea that we had and ran with it. I want to thank all of the um, various ministries that came and participated. I want to thank the um, uh, Dallas and the band uh, for providing some music and all of you. And of course, the Hog Heaven guys, uh, who once again, um, humble us by their their loving service uh, to this church. It's really quite amazing, and I, I've, I've said that to them. But but if you see them, um, just thank them. Thank everyone who participated and was involved because it was a great joy. It was uh, um, it was just uh, another indicator of uh, the the work of the Spirit here in this parish. Uh, he is he is moving in and through um, us to to deepen our appreciation of our uh, the joy of our salvation. You know, this is the. The, the work of ministry, as you'll hear me say um, probably too often, perhaps, is that uh, as we, we, we do the work of ministry, as Paul says, we feed uh, a real spiritual food. And as we, as just like in our, in our physical bodies, our spiritual bodies are fed and we are strengthened and we grow and we deepen in our um, knowledge and love of God and love of neighbor, well, that can't help but overflow into loving acts of service. You'll hear more about that in the sermon uh, this Sunday. Uh, stay tuned. But um, but suffice it to say, I'm so grateful for all the people that came out on Sunday, and we um, had a wonderful time, had a lot of sign-ups. There's still more uh, um, sort of opportunities to serve, so if you missed it or you weren't able to get to the, the right table or if you're just now reconsidering, um, then uh, contact us. We have a, um, a lay ministry guide that has been put together that shows all the various ways you can serve, um, in, as I said in, in the announcements from from the nursery to the bereavement ministry from cradle to the grave we have an opportunity for you to to um, put your faith into action and watch the Lord um, continue to grow uh, you in the knowledge and love of him through um, the the immersion through the participation of ourselves our souls and bodies into the life um, that he has given us to live here uh, together in his body the church uh, so uh, that was um, what we did on Sunday and I want to uh, just thank the, the the head of the BMOC Norm uh, Galloway and the rest of the the, the Bean Men of Christ board for a wonderful outing on Monday night um, at Operation Patriots uh, uh, FOB uh, which is a, um, a ministry, really, a ministry that has been put together uh, to help um, wounded and uh, suffering veterans um, sort of um, heal, really, frankly. And so it's a beautiful piece of property. Uh, we went out there. We went um, trap shooting. Uh, some of us went. Some of us, for the first time, uh, learned how to shoot a shotgun. I, I'm sort of a um, uh, sort of mid, mid-range, I would say, you know, slightly, probably slightly below average. Uh, but there we go. You know, we, we, we have aspirations here but we went shooting then we had uh, some people took a tour um, again the hog heaven guys provided an amazing dinner um, and we heard a wonderful testimony by our very own John Wigington so it was a well attended it was beautiful weather um, the, the spirit was palpable there and we um, we were blessed we were just frankly blessed so it was just a wonderful sort of two events back to back that were a great way to um, sort of end the summer season and beginning the kickoff of this fall um, that we have for you um, coming up just beginning this Sunday. So this Sunday, we're excited. We are going to have our first um, catechesis of the Good Shepherd. So if you have a three to six year old, you're going to be prepared. Uh, you probably you should already know about this, but you will be um, the beginning of this uh, sort of total immersion for our youngest into the life of the church so that by the time um, they graduate from this program, they will be um, they will um, be be sort of full participants in the life of our Sunday worship, and so that's um, that's going to be uh, fun to watch. In fact, you know we have uh, gotten Amy. Reese um, and uh, Father Jacob have been trained up in this, and so I'm going to be learning with you uh, and watching with you. Uh, but of course, I will be uh, giving my uh, putting my children into this program, and I'm excited to see um, how the Lord works through this. So that's this Sunday, but next week is really what is uh, we're going to be starting up our midweek 
uh, uh, classes. So Monday night there is two offerings. Uh, both uh, the, the marriage office is quite full, uh, which I'm great to hear. And we can we're we're hoping you know the the signups are always last minute for uh, well for everything, but but specifically youth. So so if you have a youth age child, um, uh, then please uh, get in touch with us because we'd love to for them to participate. But that is marriage alpha and alpha youth, and so that uh, begins on uh, uh, September 16th. And it runs through November, the Youth Alpha runs through November 11th, and the marriage course runs through October 28th. And so if you'd like to sign up for that, it's not too late, but it is almost too late. <laughs> so um, so please, uh, um, you know, call the office or um, uh, and we'll get you more information um, on Marriage Alpha and Youth Alpha. Also, next Wednesday begins our parish-wide study of the book of Genesis. We have put together the study guide. There is a um, there's a book that is accompanying um, that that you will be given uh, next Wednesday. So um, if you want to read ahead, you can go ahead and read the first couple of chapters of Genesis. But um, you don't have to, and we will lead you lovingly through uh, the book of Genesis. We're going to do the first 18 chapters this fall, and then we're going to do the the following chapters. Um, the uh, subsequent chapters uh, next winter, but um, but suffice it to say, as I said in the um, as I said in the the announcements, that the the sort of the book of Genesis and the book of Romans uh, together are sort of like uh, decoder rings for, uh, particularly the first for the first uh, sort of theological chapters, the first first chapters of, of Genesis. Um, and we these these are like decoder rings for the Bible. Once we get our heads around them, and once we get a sense of of their importance and a little bit of a, um, a theological um, um, sort of ramifications of them together, not just independently, but together, then then the rest of the Bible begins to unfold. I'm not saying that there's there are better books, but they are deeply uh, theological and rich and, and important. You know, so much so as we heard last year in our Roman study. You know, the Apostle Paul makes much of of the what is called the calling of Abraham, you know, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk about that again, and we're gonna study it explicitly um, this fall. But among other things, um, you know, with the great themes of creation and fall, uh, the reality of sin, the nature of our curse, uh, the promised redemption, and ultimately the hope of restoration, all of these are aspects of the Book of Genesis that we will um, we will watch the Lord through um, just dutiful study um, and faithful uh, digestion or faithful. Faithful, faithful exposition. Um, watch him by his spirit use his word to strengthen, guide, encourage, comfort, exhort, and inspire us. That's um, his promise to us, his gift to us, and then we're going to avail ourselves of that. So next Wednesday, if you want dinner, come at 5 30. Uh, Six o'clock, we will start uh, with an opening prayer, and the the uh, teaching will be from six, roughly 6 10 to 6 40, 6 45. Um, small groups. There will be a small group component again. We will assign you to those. Don't worry. Um, and we will be out at 7.30 sharp. So that is our promise to you beginning next Wednesday. Um, Genesis Part 1, Creation, Fall, and Promised Redemption. Wednesday, September 18th. Okay. Um, the only other announcements... Uh, well, I don't have any other announcements, actually, but we do have an announcement from our director of women's ministry, who happens to also be our executive administrator, Jessica Maples. And so I will let her um, close this midweek message out with a message um, with an announcement about upcoming women's ministry options. OK, uh, well, I hope and trust you've had a wonderful summer. Uh, I feel like this has been a, a rejuvenating and refreshing time. I'm excited about all of the, the, the life and excitement, the choirs, the teachings, the class, the alpha, the, the, the everything that is uh, going to be part of our lives together here these next couple of months. And pray, trust, and hope that you would avail yourselves of, of, of any and all of the opportunities that we have that are for you to help strengthen, guide, and, and secure you to that unswavering, unperishable, and unfailing hope, unfading hope. Um, that has been given to us in our Lord. And so, oh shoot, one more, one more announcement as I was speaking, as I was closing up with a great crescendo, but there we go. It's the, it's the fourth ending of the sermon, um, which I try to avoid, but sometimes fail. Uh, we are having another uh, Explore St. Luke's. So as I've said before, Explore St. Luke's will be at my house, at our house. Um, are you, and here's the announcement, are you new to St. Luke's and you would like to learn more? The staff and vestry, or some of the vestry and, and the staff will be uh, there uh, to, to for you to meet uh, in person. You'll get to see 
put faces with names. Um, you'll get to see, uh, you know, we love to, to host and, and you get to, to show some hospitality. So if you're new to St. Luke's, you're interested in becoming a member or you have been around uh, in the orbit for a while, but you haven't really um, had the opportunity or had, or had the wherewithal or, or just the desire for that matter to, to, get, to get more involved. Well, this is for you. This is your opportunity to come and ask questions, to, to, uh, to you know, we'll all be there and we will uh, be more than happy to help you explore um, your life and your relationship uh, with St. Luke. So that is on September 29th. And if you would like to come to that, please let us know. And, um, you know, we'll have as many, well, I shouldn't say as many as, as we can. I mean, as, 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 as sign up, but, but we're not at the limit yet. So let's put it that way. Okay. All right. That's all we got. Let's take it away to Jessica. Hello, women of St. Luke's. Jessica Maples here, and I wanted to bring you today a little encouragement about some upcoming women's opportunities for you at St. Luke's. First of all, um, coming up next week, um, the whole church is doing a lot of things. We're doing Alpha on Monday night. We're doing Genesis for Churchwide on Wednesday night. But we also have a women's Bible study starting on Friday, September 20th from 9 a.m. until 1030 in the M&M building. Um, I'm going to be leading that study and we are doing a macro narrative view of the whole Bible. It's called the story of scripture. So um, if you're interested at all or have the time and want to join, please sign up for that. Um, you can call the church office or sign up with a QR code from your bulletin um, for that. Secondly, um, one of the bigger things that I also want to encourage you about is we have a women's mini retreat coming up very soon on October 4th and 5th. On October 4th, the time period is going to be from 6 p.m. until 8 p.m. Um, and then on October 5th, the morning, we're going to go from 8.30 a.m. until noon. Um, what is it? What is it about? It is about women's testimonies. We're going to hear some teaching regarding women's testimonies. We're going to praise and worship. And we're also um, going to hear from three lovely ladies from St. Luke's in regards to what their testimony is about their faith, their salvation, their journey in Christ, all of the above. So I really encourage you to sign up for that. Um, again, October 4th and 5th. Friday and Saturday. And finally, um, we also were looking ahead to Christmas because we are going to have a women's Christmas luncheon. And on Sunday, September 22nd at 9.30 a.m., um, we're going to have a meeting um, in between services. It won't be a long meeting, but we're going to have a planning meeting to begin planning for that women's Christmas luncheon. So if you're interested in being on the planning team for that, um, please sign up or please call the church office and we'll put your name down and just really please come. Um, what are we doing at the Christmas luncheon? We're going to focus on the Trinity. We have a special speaker coming down from Charleston, um, the Reverend Joyce Harder. She is the assistant to Chip Edgar, our bishop, and she's actually going to be speaking to us on the Trinity. And we're also going to do some fun crafting and have some fun opportunities. So Three things, the story of scripture, the women's mini retreat, and the women's Christmas luncheon. Um, think about all those, and I hope that you can join at least one of them. Uh, have a great day. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.